This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store 6 CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. You can use the documents in this set to systematize your cleaning company and if you're thinking about qualifying your business for SIMS certification, this program does meet certification requirements and has been approved by an ISSA SIMS certification assessor. I'm Jean Hansen and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. In the eight years that I've been working with cleaning business owners, I find similarities in the way they manage their business. One of the common threads I see is that many cleaning business owners are stifling the growth of their business because they're spending most of their time reacting to problems that come up on an almost daily basis. The problem is, right from the beginning, they skipped an important step in setting up their business. They went from marketing to cleaning without putting much thought into what kind of systems they should put into place to make things run smoothly. The result is that they spend most of their day reacting to problems that come up because no one knows what procedures to use for any given task in the business. Let me give you an example that has to do with hiring and managing employees. What typically happens is you decide to hire someone. You get the required paperwork done and then you spend a day or two showing the new employee what you want him to do. Then a week later you get a call from a customer wanting to know why a trash can was missed and why there are crumbs on the floor near the kitchen sink. Or maybe you hired an office worker to answer the phones and then you get upset because she didn't write down a prospective client's contact information so you could follow up with a phone call. So the problems continue and pretty soon frustration sets in because you're spending your days fixing problems and putting out fires. All the excitement about growing the business is fading because you can't seem to find competent people to do the work. But the underlying problem is not that you have incompetent people. It's that you didn't put into writing the system they should use for doing their job and then training them on how to work the system. So as a result, you start having a hard time growing the business because you're focused on solving problems and putting out fires, not growing the business, nurturing your client relationships, and making a profit. So what I recommend you do right now is to start analyzing the decisions you are making each day. If you discover that those decisions are problem-solving decisions, then you're reacting to day-to-day -day problems. And if you find you are continually having to solve the same problems over and over again, it's a clue that you should create a system around that problem so your employees can handle it themselves and avoid running to you to always fix the problem. So if you want to stop stifling the growth of your cleaning company, you need to start weighing each decision you make by deciding if it will be profitable for the business. And those decisions should be directly related to growing your business and making a profit, not putting out fires. So let me ask you, are you spending the bulk of your days solving problems and putting out fires? Or are you spending your time strategizing and then implementing those strategies in order to grow your business? Please post your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you'd like to save yourself hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars in time and money spent creating systems for your business, then be sure to check out the 6 CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. The link to the program is below the video. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time. <music>